Eu acho que as hidrelétricas realmente elas elas têm uma. Well, I think the power generating plants really have a role in this destructive process. Because when you build a generating plant in the Amazon, you have to flood large areas as happened in Balbina or in Tucuruí. But unfortunately, there are still no economically viable alternatives to promote development in the country, the region, without energy. The dams that have been built uh, are very varied, and they, in some of them produce very little in the way of benefits. The, the worst case is that of Balbina, where a very large area was flooded, officially 2,360 square kilometers, uh, to produce a very small amount of electricity. The Balbina Dam is extraordinary because it is a very shallow reservoir, an average depth of only 7.4 meters. And it is divided into thousands of channels and backwaters where the trees have been left in the forest to rot. In 1989, the meeting of Altamera showed the world a new face of the struggle of indigenous people. Hundreds of Indians came together to protest the construction of yet another hydroelectric power plant, which would have destroyed thousands of square kilometers of rainforest. The turnout greatly surpassed initial projections. Politicians from various countries and even international rock stars attended the meeting. We have a growing problem. O governo brasileiro não, não sabe que o, a floresta que... A Brazilian government doesn't know that the forest protects us. I think our government has to pull the screws from its head to begin to see that we Indians are asking for help. We are here in the struggle to defend our land, to defend our people so we don't die, and to defend our rivers, channels, forests, and the fruit that we eat, to defend our health. In the forest, there is health.